The Indy Autonomous Challenge is a head-to-head -head high speed race of fully autonomous vehicles at the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The talent that's showing up is just unparalleled. When we saw this opportunity come up, that just seemed like a great opportunity to get involved. I've done slower vehicles, probably 20, 25 miles an hour, and to go at speeds of like 200 miles an hour seemed like a really interesting opportunity to do something that hadn't been done before. Motorsports really brings out these strong edge cases that you see for driverless vehicles. You're traveling at such a fast rate that a lot of your sensors, by the time you get a new update, you're already multiple meters ahead, and so your algorithms have to keep up. My name is Nayana Siverna. I'm currently a senior undergraduate computer engineering student from the University of Pittsburgh, and I know that women are often underrepresented in the robotics as well as STEM field. So I'm very grateful that I have the opportunity to be in this position where I can lead a team. This truly is a global competition that brings together some of the brightest AI minds from around the world. In Italy, racing is something which is really the classical heritage of our culture. It's in our DNA. Competition and racing is a very simple and undisputable way of assessing the quality of what you're doing. Having 10, 15 cars on the track simultaneously creates a ridiculously complex scenario. We are the sole German team entering the competition. There are no lanes, there are no real rules, and you really have to understand what the other people are going to do. When we're designing our software, we're really trying to, to mimic the way that a human race driver would be driving the car. All these teams are really talented, and so to be able to beat them, you can't do it casually. You have to really give it everything. In motorsport racing, there is a saying that if everything seems under control, you are not going fast enough. Traveling at such great speeds, you don't have the luxury of time to figure things out. Right? By the time you figure things out, you're already there. The more risky vehicle may just win, but the more risky vehicle may also be the one that crashes on turn one. We really don't want to mess this vehicle up, and so that's why safety has been one of the biggest things we've been striving for. I imagine a lot of tech will come out of the Indy Autonomous Challenge for sort of high-speed maneuvering for safety reasons. We're also very fortunate to have Clemson University's International Center for Automotive Research. So it was a natural fit for Deep Orange to take on the project of designing the common vehicle that would be used for the Indy Autonomous Challenge. It's that traditional open wheel race car format that fans are used to seeing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It screams when it's going all out at 200 miles per hour. The performance is going to be intense and the competition's gonna be fierce.